Sabim December enya ma ye ni nyantuwa abatu yi die. Na chese enkom she AFA gana abatu 2024 yi hono. Na enusu enya ma na yue ye. Akabe na otwe na abatu ono yadi ashesha so. Ay, echina anase ene na otwe sene. Na otwe sene ni yadi abatu ono ashesha so. Na eno ene difo eshe mkom. Diwadi kanyi ashe mkom ni bida. Egusu se eshe mkom. Ye Prophet Angel Ubet. I can't say maybe be a dear far back to a babaton now just send a no. Now, a beautiful radio, Yadi can catch him, say my one so in sea. I would be free more baby and into no. And there, it more as a bow rat, prophet and you bet. Near could see in some one or cardia far back to an eh. I have a beautiful radio, young queen could see prophet and you bet. To you, this is prophet, you bet angel, of course, because here in our office in Zimbabwe. And I just wanted to deal with a few things that, that you uh, might want to understand about the prophetic. And in this case, with regards to uh, what is happening around the world right this minute. I wanted to start by maybe addressing the, the young and upcoming prophets, or rather aspiring prophetic voices around the world, that when it comes to the political field, for example, the Ghana uh, political field. You have uh, a lot of characters in politics, not just in Ghana, around the world, Africa, Europe, Asia, who have this propensity for dissimulation, where we're talking about um, they're basically flim-flam. They have a certain level of uh, deception, so to speak, that they would want you not because you prophesy. So they clamor, they are clamoring for prophets to say something, not so that they show their belief in Christ. No, they do it because they actually, they actually, they actually pandering for votes. And if you're not careful, like I've been years back, you know, but now I'm mature, older than what I used to be, and of course, in another dimension that I used to reside in, that you have the tendency of following the rigmarole. You go around, you, you follow what they are trying to do, you follow what they are trying to do until you end up with nothing. Let me explain this to you. In layman's terms, I'm saying they don't believe I'm a prophet. They don't. No, 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 they don't. What they clamor for is for me to utter who is winning on TV, on social media, on my platforms, on platforms, so that wherever country, whatever country they come from, or whichever country they are in, let's say, for example, in Ghana, you have two candidates. Maybe one believes, maybe one doesn't, but that's none of my business. But I want to tell you this. Let's just give an example. Let's say A candidate and B candidate all of them will say to you, we believe you. But they will have one condition. Say it now, please. Say it now that I'm the one who is winning. You say it now. So if you go and say it now, what you do not realize is you're no longer working for God. You're now influencing elections. Because the people that are actually of my ilk, or rather of my type, my, my, you know, my kindred in the spirit of my tribe in the spirit, people who believe you better angel as a prophet in Ghana, in Slovakia, Czechoslovakia, in Romania, in Serbia, in Britain, wherever it is, they would then go and say, you know what? We're going to vote for this because prophet of God said God wants this one. So you see now, I'm no longer speaking the word of God. It is now the prophetic influencing the electorate. Now I'm getting people to vote for a candidate that they never wanted because I spoke. So my idea for this would be, speak two days before, a day before, or very early in the morning and publish it, very early in the morning, a day before, so that everyone, when they get it, is there. But it's not going to go travel around the world or travel around the country to influence 
where people put their eggs in the ballot box. This is why we need to be careful as men of God to actually work for God, not work for politicians, because politicians will use you. No one else there. I, I literally uh, can tell you this. No one out there knows who are called except the people are called. No one. And there's no double standard here. There is nothing that I call this one and I call that one. No. It's right there. So I, I want you to get this. As men of God and as young ministers, aspiring prophets, coming up prophets, and those who want prophetic voices that are rising, we work for God. We don't work for the people. We represent God to the people. We don't represent the people to God. No. Yes, we can take what the people have said to God and say, this is what they are saying. But our primary duty is to represent God to the people. So we don't work for the people. We work for God. But we work with the people. What I'm saying is, I do not want anybody to vote for a political figure just because I said it. Unless God tells me directly, say it this way and tell the people, this is what I've chosen and I'm going for it. Then I'll come out and say, this is what God has said. Or this is what God has said, but people will try to vote for this one. And then we can say, okay, we're going to pray to change this. That's a different story because we're doing it spiritually. But if you feel this candidate is not representing the needs of your people, your kindred, then you want to vote a different direction. Then I come and say, God has chosen this one. And you go like, wait a minute. How did he choose a man that is not representing his principles? Oh, how can he choose a man that really is not following uh, the statues that will make Christian life better or rather the economy better. It only takes one man to say, with regards to this, a day before, two days before, I have to come out and say what I need to say. But I am not there. In this instance, God has not told me to influence nobody who is voting. People have to vote the way they know God has told them to vote or the way their needs are informing them to vote. That's all there is to it. This is a lesson for the prophetic, but it's also information so you know. And around the world, nobody can represent you better than you. I don't have a secretary to come out and say something about me or anything. I don't have a friend. I have brothers and sisters around the world who pray with me, pray for me. I pray for them and all the ministers around the world and even those in Ghana that I love so much. And I know Ghana is endowed with men of God and women of God of great renown, powerful men of God. All right? And listen to this. You might have prayed for 70% to be done. And maybe it takes you with an angel to pray for 10%. And another man, go, man of God to pray for another 10%. Another woman of God to pray for another 10% for that to be a 100% percent decision, well made, signed, sealed, and delivered. So if I don't push my 10%, it might not come out the way you need. That's why we can stand up and say, if this doesn't happen, then this will do this. And then, then people are like, whoa, so he thinks he can change everything. The Bible says, who can I send? And the man of God said, I'm here. Here I am, send me. One person can be sent by God to change everything. One person can hold everything in his hand. But I don't want to influence people who are whole sway over spiritually to go and vote my direction. If God has spoken about the winner and he has congratulated the winner, has called me to congratulate the winner, guess what? The winner will know it and the winner knows it. That's what there is to it. I say this humbly as a bond servant of God. As a matter of fact, I actually signed my letters bond servant of Christ, meaning to say a willing slave and a free slave. So there is no pride with me here. I'm just trying to tell you, only do what God tells you to do. But sometimes your prophecies might actually change people to vote for somebody 
And after two months, two years, down the line, they, they say, wait a minute, this thing, this, this, this is evil people controlling us. What have I done? You see? Good night. I love you all. And I'm praying for you. And let's vote. Let's vote in peace. And let's love each other. Remember, politicians have a propensity for deception. <laughs>